Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate the HTML Cucumber report with the Cypress. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can integrate Cucumber with Cypress and page out model. In this tutorial, we will be implementing the Cucumber HTML report. So for that, let's go to the browser here and here go to the website called NP NP mjs.com and here what we need to do is that we need to search for the same cucumber preprocessor plugin uh, this one we click on this one and here if i scroll down this one and we need to go to the output section of this particular documentation scrolling down and down. so here so in the output section we need to generate a cucumber report right and in order to do that what we need to do we need to add this one under the Cypress cucumber preprocessor and this is under the package.json so let me copy this one from here and let me go back to my Visual Studio code here and let's go to package.json and you see that we have already Cypress Cucumber preprocessor so under this one we need to add this one so once we have added now what we need to do is that we need to run this one so in order to run this one let me go to terminal and let me open the Cypress stress runner and px Cypress open. So it will open the trust runner. We will execute this one. And what this will do actually, it will generate the file with the with the format.json and the output folder is cypress slash cucumber dash json. So right now we don't have any cucumber dash uh, you know just format here folder here and once we will execute this one it will create a folder here and inside the folder it will place the file with the cucumber right so that would be a json file so let me show you uh, we will execute this one and see what happens here and it will create so if you do if you need to change the folder here so you can simply go here and change uh, as per your requirement similarly you can add a file prefix and so on so that's this is very simple configuration and uh, let me run this file here and what it will do is that it will generate the file for us once the execution will be done here so let's wait for this one and this is only one single test here so it will be executed very soon so wait for this one So execution is uh, done here. Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code here. And here now you will see that we have a cucumber dash JSON folder. And inside this folder, we got this login.cucumber.json. So with the name of a particular feature, it will create a file here accordingly with the JSON format. And if I click on this one, so this is a complete JSON file, right? With all the details, either it's a past, fail, duration, and we have so many details coming up here right now. And as, as a team member, what we need to do is that we gen need to generate the HTML report, right? So in order to generate the HTML, we need an other plugin which will convert this JSON into the HTML format. Okay, so again, go back to uh, this website here and pmjs and here what we need to do is that we need to search for multiple cucumber html reporter so go on this one so multiple html reporter and scroll down here and we will get this kind of a very beautiful reports here right and this is all html okay and uh, in order to do that what we need to do is that simply scroll down a bit here and here 
this is how we can install this one so let me go with the dev dependency here so let me copy this one and go back here and let me go to another terminal here and simply install this one and it will be added to our package.json so here you see that we have a multiple cucumber html reporter and that's got installed successfully and here further what we need to do is that now we need to create one file and that needs to be created inside the main cypress directory and that file we will be writing some script which will actually convert the json into the html right so if i go back uh, to the browser here so and let's see the usage of this particular plugin so they have provided uh, this particular course in a bit right report.generate we need to provide the directory of the json file and we also need to provide the path where we actually need html report and we have a, a metadata as well here right now i'm not going with the metadata as of now simply what i'll do is that let me go back here and inside this i will create a file i'm naming it as cucumber report.js and let me paste the complete code here and only thing i need to change here is basically the path so the path of uh, this particular uh, you know json file right this is a path of json so we need to provide the json path here this is the first thing we need to do and the second thing we need to do is that we need to tell the path so simply so this let me show you here it's a cypress and inside cypress is my cucumber dash and if i go here let me select the cypress and let me name it as uh, the folder cucumber report we're going to cucumber dash report this is a folder where i want this report and that's it and i don't need uh, this meta because um, i will show you i will talk about this one later but right now uh, we don't need this meta because here in meta we need to tell the browser version and we will be also populating this kind of information in the report so if, if i go back to the documentation itself so if i click on this report here so here you see that they have device os browser and all these kind of things meta can be defined for the report so right now i'm not doing this one i simply what i'll do is that i'll go back here and i will remove this part from here we'll be going with a very simple uh, things here let me save this one and now we have already dot json uh, file right because we have executed uh, the uh, our test and we got this file generated and now we have this file we need to convert this one into the html so how we can do that simply we will run this cucumber report dot this file okay and in order to run this one simply type node dash cypress slash so cucumber .js and hit enter so as soon as you hit enter you will see that it says that multiple cucumber report generated here in your directory right you can directly jump into this directory or else you can go here and you will find this index.html and the folder cucumber dash report has been generated and inside that we have this index.html now if you want to run this file here because it's a html file you need to have a live server or 
simply right click on this one go to reveal in the file explorer and here this is a file and here you need to open this file now simply double click on this one and here you go so you have this report where you have this feature and here you see that we haven't provided the metadata so it says unknown unknown as of now but when we provide the metadata you will get this information here so uh, on an hrm uh, we did uh, as a sample one click on this one this was our you know file name narrative path feature and it has different steps given when then all are passed pass ratio so this is a beautiful report and uh, you can work with this one and if i go back here if you want a white one just toggle this one and you will have this white report here thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial